Hey, what's up? Jarrell here. Today we're going to talk about the movie that started it all. Blade, starring Wesley Snipes. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, Marvel would not be what Marvel is today without Wesley Snipes' Blade. And that brother, uh, you know, Wesley Snipes. Without Wesley, we would not have what we got right now. You know what I'm saying? And as far as I'm concerned, that brother was a box office draw. You know what I'm saying? And, and I am a huge fan of Wesley Snipes. That, you know, everything that I've seen him in, uh, you know, in the 90s and in the 80s, you know, from like Jungle Fever to Nino Brown to, you know, uh, what was that movie with uh, Sean Connery, you know, where he was just whooping some ass. It was like uh, The Rising Sun. I, I think I said that right. Um, but Wesley Snipes ain't nothing to play with. In fact, Wesley Snipes wanted to pitch the idea of Black Panther back then. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the vision wasn't matching up right. So then he decided to go the route of Blade. You know what I mean? And I... <laughs> Man, Wesley Snipes is just so damn awesome, like, every which way of the word. Like, the brother can act his ass off and whoop some serious ass, too, man. Like, oh, man. Let's let's talk about Blade, okay? Like, man, in, in that movie, it, 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 it kind of started the vibe of the darkness in certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, Vampire Hunter, Half Human half vampire, you know, like a dampier, you know, that's what they usually call it nowadays, it's like, you know, the, the half breeds, uh, or the, you know, the hybrids, and, uh, you know, to where he can walk in the sunlight, this is what made Blade special, you know, because I feel like the movie may have uh, changed the dynamic and connotation of what the powers of Blade were. Because in the comics, it wasn't so special, per se. It was just more of a vampire. but not, and, and I don't think he was able to walk daylight, you know, like like Daywalker. You know what I mean? So so there was a sexiness to the idea, you know, like, like has all of the vampire strengths and none of their weaknesses. You know what I mean? Like, I, man, I, I'd love to see Wesley Snipes don it one more time, you know, if he could. Even though Mahershala Ali right now is is taking on the mantle but i don't care man wesley snipes is always going to be blade to me man like my goodness that that brother you know like i couldn't think of anybody else cooler with the swagger of of, of wesley snipes that could do it justice man because and don't get me wrong like mahersala is going to do his thing i'm sure but when i think of blade i think of just some ass whooping you know silent kind of cool swagger kind of cat that just lets his actions talk more than his words you know what I'm saying like like Mahershala to me has the thespian part down but as far as to get moving and grooving and whooping people's asses left and right you know what I'm saying with, with, with like with like the seventh dawn black belt shit I don't I don't know I don't know what we're getting yet but I'm, I am excited. But at the same time, I want to see Blade in some secret. I want to see Wesley Snipes in some secret wars kind of shit, man. I miss you, Wesley. Let's get you again, brother, man. Shit, because, you know, I miss you whooping some ass. You know what I'm saying? I've been with you since the day and age of white men can't jump. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, Shit, Rosie Perez was my very first crush. <laughs> Gloria, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> yeah, man, shit. Um, I, I just, uh, I, I absolutely enjoyed Blade. Uh, I enjoyed, um, you know, just the, the dynamic between, uh, you know, Blade and Frost. And, and, you know, how, you know, it was somewhat of a family connection, an unwanted family connection. You know what I mean? Because Frost was the one that bit his mother. And, uh, and so there was, you know, it had like a vengeful feel to it. Like, you know, you're the one that killed my mother before I was born, you know, and I'm, I'm coming after that shit. You feel me? Like, just had that vibe to it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thought all the acting was good in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Steven Dorff did his thing. Uh, 
Um, what what is what is it? Chris Chris Christopherson, the one that played uh, Whistler. You know what I mean? Did his thing. Um, and Bush Wright, the one that played Karen. You know, pretty chocolate self. You know, she did her thing too. Like I, I think that was a solid movie. You know what I mean? I think we, uh, for what it's worth, we got uh, you know a, a very worthy seat. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll, I'll say this uh, for Blade Trinity, because I'll probably cover those other movies too. Aside, from, you know, because Blade Two is a whole element of its own. You know, for a review, but Blade Two was exceptional. Blade. Uh, Trinity, not so much, but we did get uh, Ryan Reynolds, and and we did get Deadpool from the performance that you know Ryan Reynolds had in uh, <laughs> Blade Trinity as Hannibal Cain or Kane, right? So, so that being said, it's like I'm very grateful for that movie because without that movie, we wouldn't have had the Deadpool we have today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, without Blade makes you wonder what 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 the, uh you know marvel would be like today if it wasn't for uh wesley snipes and steven steven norrington you know the director you know what i'm saying or or david s goyer's writing you know what i'm saying because that's a that's a brilliant uh screen doctor right there script doctor you know what i mean so uh but yeah i i, I want to recommend this to you uh blade is the shit you want to see Wesley whooping some ass left and right and kicking people like 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 shit like thirty feet away from his ass and you know what I'm saying blood raves and and and, and you know just just stake to the knife stake to the chest kind of shit you know what I'm saying that's my favorite boogie woogie get down kind of shit with vampires man blade all the way you know what I mean like. Shit, I, I I'd probably have him, you know, hire him to go after them Twilight suckers. You feel me? Like glitter, what? Send Blade. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's my uh, review about Blade. The very first one was with with the legendary Wesley Snipes. You feel me? Anyway, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe to Relish Pictures. And I want to hear your comments in the comment section. We're gonna get down. We're gonna get. We gonna, we gonna, we're gonna get down, we're gonna get dirty, we're gonna get nasty. You feel me? <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. I, shit. I already know y'all are probably like, you know what? I wanna see this shit tonight. I wanna put this in right now. Cause goddamn, I wanna see a, like, a vampire killing badass, half vampire dude. You know what I'm saying? That's just sound cool as hell. <laughs> Pull out the popcorn. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe for Relish Pictures. Peace, I'll see you next time. Out.